Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Benny. A wise man once said, careful what you wish for, you just might get it. And Alyssa Heinerschneid, who is the woke VP of Bud Light, is certainly getting the fame and attention she's always craved. You may recall that this is the person who said she hated the brand that she is the representative of. This is the person who went on a podcast and said she's ashamed to be working for Bud Light. She's ashamed of the fratty out of touch humor and she needed to create more inclusivity for the brand, more diversity and equity for a light beer that tastes like piss water that's been stomped on by a horse inside of a hay barn. This is not a brand for the woke, but Alyssa Heinerscheid is certainly one of the woke Xanax Chardonnay moms who wanders around Greenwich, Connecticut, trying to sneer at Bud Light drinkers and thinks that she's better than the people who actually support her brand. Well, we discovered something very interesting, ladies and gentlemen, in looking and researching for more information on Alyssa Heinerschneid. So we checked out this article here about Alyssa Heinerschneid potentially getting fired. Did she get fired? I thought, well, that's interesting. Did this person get fired? Here's a photo of Alyssa Heinerschneid right there. Uh, inside of this article, it says, no, Bud Light's VP of Marketing has not yet been fired. Her LinkedIn, her LinkedIn profile still describes her as the vice president of the brand and the first female to lead the largest beer into three. <laughs> oh, that's going great. So I said, oh, well, that's interesting. Let's click on her LinkedIn, shall we? So we, we click on the LinkedIn, and then what is this? Hmm, that's odd. The page doesn't exist. Alyssa Heinerschneid, she's like, she's very, very important, right? Remember, she's, she's the face of Bud Light, the first female vice president ever for the brand. So certainly she'd be bragging about that on LinkedIn where smug, narcissistic, black hole personality people go to brag. And, oh, well, here it is. I Googled Alyssa Heinerschneid, LinkedIn, and there it is right there, the VP of Bud Light. So there's the Google referenced link. So this is the Google indexed link here. And if I click on it, nothing. This page doesn't exist. Well, that's strange. Let's go to the Wayback Machine and put in the URL for Alyssa Heinerschneid. So I go and I pull the URL, right, from Google. I pull this URL. I type it in the Wayback Machine, and lo and behold, it's all gone. She's been deleted from the Internet. There's a snapshot here. All this is is a, uh, a redirect, so we don't even get the snapshot. Well, what do you know? Not even in the Wayback Machine. You can search her name on Instagram. <laughs> but all it comes up with is articles talking trash on her. She's deleted her account. <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. So there were some people who were able to screenshot and get images from her account. Apparently, according to some people on Twitter, she used she, her pronouns in her LinkedIn bio. She was extremely braggadocious about she, her agendas, female first, evolving and elevating an iconic brand, new era in marketing. She started nine months ago, nine months to destroy arguably the most iconic beer brand in the world, certainly in this country. Alyssa Gordon here, Heinerscheid, she, her first female to lead the largest beer brand in the industry. There you go. Shoving it right in your face. Oh, New York City metropolitan area. Of course. Who do you think her friends are? Who do you think she hangs out with? Do you think she hangs out with a lot of Bud Light drinkers there? She's from the Wharton School. She went to every elite school that you could possibly graduate from. She went to Harvard and then Wharton. That famous, now infamous podcast interview where she talks about how she hates Bud Light customers. She actually posted it on her LinkedIn. This is a uh, screenshot of that. Took a leap of faith and filmed my first podcast. We talked about many things. Vulnerability, building great teams, and family swag chain. Thank you for making it 
possible. Well, I guess you made your career implosion possible. So, yeah, you can definitely find some reactions to Alyssa Heinerscheid here on Instagram. This is where all the professional people talk to each other, all these professional marketing people. I wouldn't believe it if I read it myself. Let's play this out. They're losing sales because they're outdated. The logical conclusion is to target the growing demographic with something they love or believe in. So why would Alicia Heinerscheid target a demographic that is less than 0.001% of the population? That's called a stunt. It's called pandering. I mean, she's getting destroyed here on LinkedIn. Absolutely destroyed. Here's some grifter, some feminist grifter lady saying, congratulations on your new role as VP of Bud Light, becoming the first woman to lead the largest beer company in the industry. Representation matters. I can't wait to see the impact you're having on this 40-year-old brand. Now, pass me a cold one from Shelly Zals. Let's see. Uh, how's this How's this going? Just checking in here. How's this historic first going for uh, Bud Light? Uh, this man says their sales dropped 40% in one week. Congratulations on the demise of Anheuser-Busch. The poison, your poison Ivy League education has failed you and indoctrinated you to believe that Americans are transphobic, racist, and every other evil. Boom. Shakalaka. Tens of hundreds of millions agree with you. Woke is a poison. To be candid, the new Bud Light campaign was a major mistake. Who approved such a campaign? Transgender people are 0.05% at most of the U.S. population, thus a minuscule market that certainly is not worth damaging the brand for no valid reason for woke feminist outlook. No, she's just not qualified for the job. I've been VP of marketing for over 20 years, GM of Ford and Chrysler. This is an absolute worst move a marketer could have made. Her career is essentially over. Good Lord. Holy cannoli. Just getting absolutely destroyed. So even though she's deleted her in her LinkedIn account, which is the only social media we could find for her, she's deleted her LinkedIn account, um, still getting uh, absolutely, absolutely and completely torched. Torched, torched, torched. Here's what I find strange about the Bud Light controversy. The marketing executive seems to care more about her own historic role as a female in the beer industry than she does about her product. You can take issue with the article and the source if you choose, but listen to her in her own words talk about the goods she's brought to the market. People are absolutely are just completely wrecking, uh, even in, in spite of the fact that she has deleted her profile, which used to look like this. Yeah. Now deleted her profile. And for good reason because people would probably be tagging her in this video right here. So it used to be like five years ago, the idea was you do your thing, we do our thing, we don't bother each other. That was called tolerance. You wanna dress up like a woman, fine. Now the rules have changed completely. Worship me as I dress up like a woman or I'll crush you. That's why suddenly everything, even beer cans are celebrating and promoting transgenderism. Bud Light has just released a commemorative can celebrating a man who dresses up like a woman. His name is Dylan Mulvaney. Here's Alyssa, Alyssa Heinerscheid, who brags that she is the first female VP of Bud Light, telling us that Bud Light loves Dylan Mulvaney, but hates its own customers. So I had this super clear mandate. It's like mm -hmm. we need to evolve and elevate this incredibly iconic brand. What does evolve and elevate mean? It means inclusivity. It means shifting the tone. It means having a campaign that's truly inclusive and feels lighter and brighter and different and appeals to women and to men. Mm -hmm. And representation is at sort of the heart of evolution. You've got to see people who reflect you in the work. And we had this hangover. I mean, Bud Light had been kind of a brand of fratty, kind of out of touch humor. And it was really important <laughs> that we had another approach. Out of touch, fratty and out of touch. Is there anyone more out of touch than that woman? Is that woman the perfect physical embodiment of the problem in America? Yes. How do people like that take charge of our country? The least impressive, the dumbest, the most reactionary, the people who live in the tiniest little worlds, they run everything. Thank you for watching. Our channel's here to meme the libs until they cry and then to meme them crying. Their tears, they taste just like sweet, delicious ice cream. Salty, too. We ridicule the establishment and the libs because of you. Your support keeps us going. So if you like what you saw, please punch the subscribe button, click like, and ring the little bell so that you know when we're live. Don't you want to know when we're live? And 
Make sure that you subscribe to our email list just in case the plug gets pulled, as tends to happen. If you want to see more of our videos, click here or here. My name is Benny Johnson. Stay free. Base Patriots.